Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and take our eyeshadow primer. And I am using my favorite primer, the Wet n Wild um, Take on the Day Eyeshadow Primer from the Free Collection. And we're just going to apply it all over the lid. When I go rough, we keep throwing things and slamming the door. You and I get so damn. Okay, so once the eye primer is completely dry, we're going to go ahead and take. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline color tattoo and this is in the color uh, Too Cool. It is just a really frosty white. Dysfunction always stop keeping score. You and I get sick. Yeah, I know that we can't do this no more. Yeah, but baby, there you go again, there you go again. Make and for these shadows today, we I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics 120 palette, the first edition. And... As you can tell, we are doing a neutral look today. So first off, I'm going to start off with this brown color right here. And we're going to apply it in the crease. And this is just going to help add a little bit of depth. As well as help shadows blend. Give me love you. Yeah, I stopped using my head. Using my head. Let it all go. Got you stuck on my body. On my body like a tattoo. And now I'm feeling stupid, feeling stupid, crawling back to you. Now, for the lip color, I'm going to be using this shimmery, sort of off-white yellowish color. It's super pretty. So I cross my heart and I hope to die. And I just use a flat shader brush from Crown Royal. I mean from Crown Brush and this is the Chisel Shadow Brush. And using this same brush, I'm going to grab this reddish brown shade right here. I'm just going to apply some, get some on top of the brush and apply it into that crease with that brown. Said in a million times, but I'll only stay with you one more night. Try to tell you no, but my body keeps on telling you yes. Try to tell you stop, but your lips got me so out of breath. I be waking up in the morning, probably hating myself. I be waking up feeling. Now really quickly, just getting some of that same color, we're going to apply it under our lower lash line. And then going back to this little smudge crease brush, I'm going to get some of a matte black shadow. And I'm just going to really lightly apply some in the crease. I don't want it too dark, but I just want to give it a little bit of dimension. So I'm just going to lightly apply some in the crease and in the outer corner. And then I'm just going to blend it out. But baby, there you go again, there you go again, making me love you. Yeah, I stopped using my head. Now just taking a clean brush, I'm using this crease blender brush from Crown. And I'm just going to take this yellowish color right there. And I'm just going to apply it as a highlight. To my head, let it all go. Got you stuck on my body. And now getting a smaller little brush, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Get some of the brush and then use it in the inner corner just to brighten up the eyes a tad. My body like a tattoo, and now I'm feeling stupid, feeling stupid, calling back to you. So I cross my heart and I hope to. Yeah, I'm just gonna blend out with my finger, and just to help it stay in place, I'm gonna get some a matte white eyeshadow. Die. That I'll only stay with you one more night. I'm just going to line the eyes and add mascara. And for the eye eyeliners, for the eyeliner pencil, I'm going to be using my Jordana 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil. Night. And I know I've said it a million 
times that I only stay with you one more night. Eyeliner, I'm using my LA Colors Liquid Graphics Liquid Eyeliner in black. But baby, there you go again, there you go again, making me love you. Yeah, I stopped using my head, using my head, let it all go. Got you stuck on my body, on my body, like a tattoo. And for mascara, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Megalink mascara. So I cross my heart and I hope to die That I only stay with you one more night Okay guys, so I already applied my face as you can tell And now I'm going to be taking this 6 color palette Contour and Blush from BH Cosmetics and an angled blush brush from them as well. I'm going to be taking this color right here. It is definitely my favorite color of this palette. I don't know why. It just totally captures my attention. And I'm just going to apply it all. And I know I said it a million times. But I'll only stay with you one more night. Okay, so now for the lips, um, since this is a really sort of neutral look, I could totally get away with wearing a dark red lip, but I think I'm just going to keep this girly and apply. I need the peach lipstick. This is the one and one just peachy. One more night. Now I'm just going to go over it with the BH Cosmos Lip Gloss in Studious. One more night. And well guys, this is the final look for this tutorial. I really love how it came out and this look would be so perfect for Valentine's. I feel it looks so romantic and just awesome and of course you can always trade the lips out for like a red lipstick if you're feeling a little bit daring or sassy i felt like keeping a little bit girly so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to check out my blog for as more steps by step instructions in case you've forgotten or just products used in case you've forgotten what products i use and also just to see more pictures and don't forget to follow me on all my social media links. All the links are down below. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. So until then, as always, have a super duper fantastic day. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.